Well, in March of 2020, Hunter Pence and his wife, Alexis, launched Pineapple Labs, which offers thoughtfully curated coffee and lifestyle products. Pineapple Labs creates monthly gift sets. How cool is this? That pair a coffee of the month with a lifestyle. And this month, they're teaming up with the San Francisco Hotel in celebration of Small Business Month. We're thrilled to have Hunter and Alexis on MLB Central. Good morning to both of you. Tell us about this. It sounds so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Lex. Um, yes, Pineapple Labs, we are a specialty coffee line, and um, all of our profits go to a local charity. This month is going to Ladies Who Launch. So uh, it's an um, organization that helps uh, women and entrepreneurs um, with mentoring, financially, whatever they might need help with, which is really exciting. Uh, yeah, but we love coffee, and we're excited to share it with you all. Here is our May, Pur May Pearl uh, bundle. So here's the coffee and the mug that you get with it and yeah i have it here in studio as well lexi i feel like a coffee order oh here it is <laughs> i feel like a coffee order says a lot about personality what do what do we drink daily hunter you first <laughs> well, the one fun thing about the Pineapple Labs, I obviously drink a lot of coffee, but okay. uh, we, we are changing our coffee monthly. So it's going to be a different coffee typically every month, depending on harvest. And that's one of the, the fun things about coffee is that it's always changing. And it's similar to wine in the fact that like the same farm, uh, even doing the same process uh, and expertise could have a different coffee notes depending on so many factors with the weather and the climate. Uh, but typically I'm drinking the Pineapple Labs. Um, I'm about a pot of coffee and two espressos. What? Uh, that hits the, that hits the. <laughs> hit Straight savage, Time out. Six, That's intense, Hunter. It's a lot. Yeah, but it's fun. It's fun because we have, we've learned, I've learned so much about coffee and yeah. it's all so delicious. You know, I know when you drink wine, right? You swirl it around in a glass and you smell it. And I always think, what are they, what are they smelling? But this coffee, you smell all the notes and you taste them as well, Lexi, is that right? Yes, yes. Um, our coffee, because we, it's just taken care of since from the moment we plant it, from the moment it's like roasted, picked through the whole process, it's just taken such good care. Um, we plant it with uh, like in a bio, what is it, biodynamic? So, so yeah, the farmers that are, are generational farmers there. It's, it's ethically sustainably, which means it's, it's planted biodynamically. It's not just coffee, 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 coffee. They're planting more than one plant to keep the soil and, and healthy environment. Uh, they're also ethically and transparently sourced so that they're taking care and, and paying their workers livable wages. And we, you know, our, our source guy, David Buer, uh, he goes and checks the farms and he sees them and works with these farmers who are crazy smart so yes they're going to have all of these notes it's also part of the roasting process where they bring out those flavors and it's really really a fun process when they when you have people working like david and that's our goal is for the consumer at home that they get to try specialty coffee and that this is kind of their um entry barrier into checking out some of the local coffee shops in their neighborhood that are into specialty coffee. So hopefully we can get you guys started on some, a really good cup of coffee that will hopefully change the rest of your day. Oh, I love it. All right, I'm going to take Hunter back in time real quick. 2007, <laughs> he he's with the Houston, he's with the Houston Astros, Lauren. I'm playing second base for the Cubs. Okay. I get a ground ball hit to me and I think I can take my sweet tush time and I look up and he is literally like the fastest human being I've ever seen. He was in tempo, my favorite breakfast spot the next morning. I did not go up to him. My question is, Hunter, when did you get dialed in on the coffee? Were you on a pot of coffee running down to first base that day in Wrigley Field and kind of kind of take me through it? Zero. A, you hit so many home runs against us and clutched up so much. That 2007 Cubs team was incredible. But listen, you try to not sprint down to first base when you've had a pot of coffee and two espresso shots. It's impossible. <laughs> you're going to run, you're going to take advantage of your four to five at bats a game. And, uh, you know, typically I was just so frustrated. I hit a grounder. I was just running off the frustration. Uh, but I was drinking a lot of coffee from the day I got to the big leagues. I started when I was 12, but I don't think that I ever learned the whole process and, and uh, how big it impacts a lot of these other countries and, and learning about the, the coffee family and the whole uh, chain of, you know, of the process. So the great specialty coffee, Alexis, uh, it was a journey that started in about 2015 and uh, it's been a magical journey. And we're so thrilled and we're pumped to be sharing all that we've learned and making that bridge to specialty coffee be easier for everyone.
Hey, listen, I got a chance to experience San Francisco. I always wanted to play there. I got a chance two years. I was hurt a lot. But I think a Tim Lincecum typecast to play in that environment, and then I see you go over, all right? I mean, you were made for San Francisco. Just kind of take me through that experience, if you could. Just sum it up for me. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I honestly, like, I was very fortunate to play everywhere I played. Grew up in Texas, played with the Astros, traded the Phillies. Wild, wild, fun times, great teammates. And you can you can speak to this, d -Row. Everyone you meet is unique and different. Every city you play for has a different, you know, rhythm. And, and, and they're all near and dear to my heart. But when I got traded to San Francisco, I, I feel like I blossomed into someone – because I'm a little bit weird, d -Row. I'm a little bit quirky. And I feel like San Francisco <laughs> really embraced that personality. And, and I felt free to be the wacko that I am. And it just kind of was a perfect connection because we had really loud personalities like a Tim Lincecum, you know, the Brian Wilsons, the uh, the Sergio Romos, and the Pablo Sandoval's, yeah. the Kung Panda. So we just had this wacky bunch. And then we had the really normal people like Brandon Crawford and Buster Posey and Jimmy <laughs> Athel. So it was just like this perfect little rhythm where like, we have the weirdos and we have the, you know, the normal people. <laughs> Hunter it's and perfect. Alexis, that's so, so well said, right, God. Dero? Good luck to you both. What a cool way to spend your time. The crew here loves the coffee. Thank you so much, and we appreciate it. Thanks for spending some time with us this morning on MLB Central. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lauren. Oh, Thank awesome. you, Dero. Y'all are killing it.